today we are looking at the value of faith in God. The value of having faith in God. And I want to begin this message by reading some verses that deal with the subject of faith. I want you to think about the words that I read and we're going to begin in Matthew 17 and verse 20. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20, Jesus says, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. I believe that verse certainly stresses the value of faith in God. Would you agree with me? Look at Mark chapter 10 and verse 52. The gospel of Mark chapter 10 and verse 52. And Jesus said unto him, go thy way, thy, what's the word? Faith. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Look at the gospel of Luke chapter 8 and verse 25. The gospel of Luke, chapter 8 and verse 25. And he said unto them, where is your faith? Jesus looks at his disciples and essentially says, you need to have faith. Faith in God. Where is your faith? Romans chapter 14 and verse 23. Romans chapter 14, verse 23, the Apostle Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, says these words, For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Now that's a strong statement, is it not? Look at that verse again. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. One last verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are to live our Christian lives by faith in God, not by sight. In other words, not by what we can see and what we can uh, reason with our own minds, but rather we factor God into the equation of life. And the Bible says here that we are to walk by faith, not by sight. Now, no doubt you have heard all kinds of interpretations and applications of these verses that I've just read regarding the subject of faith. As one commentator writes, and I quote, when it comes to the meaning of faith, people run the gamut from strange to stupid to skeptical to sincere to scriptural, <laughs> end of quote. I like that. You do. When you hear messages on faith, you hear everything from strange to stupid to skeptical to sincere to scriptural. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to be scriptural in my interpretation and also in my application of this matter of faith. Now, let me begin by giving you some very simple statements about faith. The first one is so simple that you're going to be shocked that I'm even putting it up on the screen. But here it is. Faith is trust. If you want to know a very basic elementary definition of faith, it is faith is trust. A second statement that you may want to jot down somewhere, faith is believing in someone or something to do what they are supposed to do, right? That's what faith is. Faith is believing, it's trusting in someone or something to do what they are supposed to do. But I believe that you would agree with me also that our faith our trust in God is more important than all the other individuals, all the other things that we trust week in and week out. The most valuable faith we can have is faith in God. That is the most valuable faith that we can have. To have faith in God means that we what? We trust God. 
We are convinced that God will do what he is supposed to do. In other words, we believe that God will do what he has promised to do. Now let me caution you concerning a false doctrine circulating around concerning faith. And by the way, it is being preached from the pulpits of churches all across America because some Christians have what I call overvalued faith. You say, what do you mean by that preacher? Overvaluing faith. Well, some people make the mistake of having faith in faith. Did you hear that? Some people make the mistake of having faith in faith. They believe that they can make something happen by the power of their faith. For instance, some people believe that they can become rich. They can be cured of cancer. They can even change another person's behavior if they just have enough faith. But let me point out that in and of itself, faith doesn't make anything happen. Now that may sound like an odd statement to you. The value of faith comes from the object of faith. Faith is what connects us with God. So here is how faith works. I want to demonstrate for you how faith works. Faith begins with the conviction that God is God and that he can do what he says he can do. 